Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So um, if you don't know, I have had twist in my head since June 8th. So a lot of the content you have seen on my channel has been content I filmed at the end of May. So I could, at the end of May, beginning of June, so I could, you know, take a break this month. I have had like wig fatigue. I'm just, I was just kind of tired of wearing wigs and I wanted to change up my look. So I did get some twist installed. But as you guys can see, like my hair has grown out a lot and it looks pretty crazy. So I was watching, I was looking on YouTube for a video of how to refresh your hair, um, your braids, but without like taking them out and redoing them. So I came across this video called um, by Sunkiss Curls and she refreshed her knotless braids but it can be applied to any kind of style and it made it look brand new so i'm gonna quickly do that for you guys and then i'm just gonna do my makeup with you guys on camera so this is a get ready with me video and it's gonna be simple i'm just gonna be trying some new makeup products and stuff and you guys can see my office, it's almost done. You'll see like it more in depth and stuff. I don't know, very soon though. I can't say a definitive date, but it's coming up. It's shaping up back there. <sighs> Adrian, he was uh, playing with my braids yesterday and he said he put a braid in there. And I see it now. I finally got my Edge Booster Edge Control and I'm excited. I had the orange one last year and I and I ran out earlier this year and I never replenished, but now I have two of them. I forgot one was on the way, but I have the citrus kind and it smells amazing. So definitely highly recommend this. You guys, you see my edges, right? This is, I have 4B, 4C hair and this gets me together and watch her video especially if you have knotless braids but it applies to any style like i said so you get your braid and you put your edge control around the base of where your box is and you use the combs you get your edge brush and you use the comb side and you comb it down. And make sure you can clean up your, your boxes to make them more neat during this time. Combing it down. And then you comb this front back. You're gonna get some product buildup with this. Um, I, mine did kind of turn white a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. I just wiped it out. And then you take your loose braid. You see how loose that is? You guys see that? And you're just gonna twist it, but not twisting it, but don't twist it too hard because you don't wanna pull out your edges. And you're just gonna anchor that right there for the time being. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one here. I'm not gonna do all of them in the back and stuff, but just the ones that are at the front. You see how neat that looks? This is how my hair looks now. And I'm gonna do this one here. And it's pretty much how somebody would do to ref uh, refresh locks and stuff, but I didn't, I've never had locks, so yeah. I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna do the rest of them off camera. But you guys see how like. <laughs> So I'm 
gonna keep going. Remember how it looks right now. I mean, it's a vibe. If you wanna do that, you can, but I want mine to be a bit more neat. So boom, boom, and I'll be back. All right, y'all see my edges now. And I'm gonna put it, my hair in the half up, half down style, cause I just think that's so cute. So. I'm gonna have to redo that in a different direction. certain spots and I wanted to do my edges and stuff before I did my makeup just like with my wigs and I'll have to wipe wipe them off again after I put on foundation just adding a little swoopish If you've tried faux locks, what's your favorite brand? Because I think I'm gonna try some again before the summer is over. I'm gonna probably do individual crochets or crochet locks because it's easy to do and it's easy to take out. So I wouldn't feel like I'm wasting any money. Boom! Y'all see it? Yes, okay, so. I'm gonna put my scarf on. I kind of don't really need it, but I'm gonna just do it anyway. This is my edge scarf. This came with a human hair wig that I reviewed, but a lot of companies have their own version of it. If I can find a link, I'll get one for you guys and put it down below. So, I am about to do my makeup for you guys and it's gonna be, I'm just gonna be using, you know, some products that I've been loving right now and some products, I this is my first time using them. But off camera, I'm gonna do my eyebrows because my eyebrows take a long time and I have a standalone tutorial, so yeah, I know. But before I do that, I am going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and if you watched my makeup haul that I did in May during my birthday week. Um, you saw me haul this. That's what it looks like. And I have used this a few times and I like it so far because I've been using my NYX Angel Veil for years at this point. My face is already moisturized and my skin can get really dry, but I don't feel like this dries out my skin too much. It used to be really oily, but All right, it's guys, so I have done my eyebrows off camera and I've done one eye off camera. All right, so I'm gonna prime my lid with the Juvia's Place Concealer in 15. It is lighter than my complexion, so that's gonna be good as a eyeshadow base. So I'm gonna put that on my lid. And I'm gonna use my setting brush from Real Techniques to blend that out. All right. I'm actually not gonna be using the eyeshadow palette for this look. I'm gonna be using my blush palette. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the, Sun the Saharan 2 palette, which is a blush palette. And I am gonna be using the Yara shade here. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. So I use this camera right here for 
my plan with me videos on my planner channel and if you don't follow me on my planner channel it's called hearts in a plan um yeah so i never use it for my beauty videos and decided to use it today because it's lightweight it's a lot lighter than my canon t6i and i actually like the way this camera looks i think i might use it more often for my beauty content and I've had this camera for probably three, probably four years. No, I probably had that this camera for three years and that one for four. So I'm gonna go into the Koki Cosmetics Contour Palette, Powder Contour Palette. This is Deep Dark. I'm gonna use that shade and put that on top of that. But I'm wearing the Cloud Brown Contacts from Color CL from the Siesta line. I've been rocking their contacts since 2017. Uh, because I feel like they are affordable and they also look very natural and I tend to go with like browns and Pretty much browns and stuff when I actually do wear them So I already put that contour shade in my crease and you guys see how deep that is. I'm going back into Yara um, And the Saharan 2 palette and I'm going to use this blending brush from wet n wild really great brush to have and super affordable and I'm gonna blend out the edge. I'm just blending that out on the edges. I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that brown in the crease just to make sure it's has some presence there. All right, so I'm gonna use this flat brush from Wet n Wild as well. Looks like that. And I am gonna go and I'm still in the Saharan Blush 2 palette and I'm using this shade here, which is a shimmer and it's called Sola. So this is a prime example of being able to use, you know, your makeup products in multiple ways. This is a blush palette, but I'm using it for eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna put that, it's, a, it's like a shimmery pink, hot pink with peach in it as well. Okay, so for eyeliner, actually over the last like year, I haven't really been into eyeliner, which is a big deal because I used to love eyeliner a lot, but um, I've just been doing like shadow and lashes and I like the way that looks, but I've missed eyeliner a little bit. So um, I went back to something I used to use a long time ago, um, which was the Inglot gel liner in number 77. Looks like that. And I used the Duraline. I used those two together. Um, and I also used this watercolor brush here, but it's a, I use it as an eyeliner brush because it has a really fine tip to it. Years ago, um, Beauty with Junie B, she did a video of her favorite eyeliners and this was one of them. And I used it so much after I saw her video. So I'm going back to something that I used to use. So, so what you do is you just drop the Duraline, this liquid, stuff here inside of the gel liner and then you apply it. So I'm not gonna be talking while I do this because I gotta focus. other lashes on so I think I'm gonna stick with these I'm just so used to my bees in the trap lashes and I love them but I wanted to try something different um, I saw Kyra Sean use these in one of her videos her makeup videos um, and I wanted to try them especially because because it's on Amazon you can get it in a few days and I was like I didn't feel like waiting to get my lashes you know a long time so 
um yeah I picked those up and that is what they look like so I wanted a pop of color on my lower lash line and I showed you guys in my makeup haul in May that I picked up the LA girl neon eyeliners and I haven't used this particular color yet um this is in the color fresh which is like a mint color and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line Um, so can't see that girl. She's been telling me for months now to try the JCAT um, foundations. And JCAT Beauty, they sent me four shades of their foundation. This is their Skin Insurance Max Coverage Foundation, Silky Foundation. So they sent me four different shades. So here are what the shades look like in the bottles. I'm more on this shit on this um, side over here. So I'm just gonna swatch Toffee and Sunkissed on my cheek. Is Sunkissed is the darkest shade, and Toffee is the next shade down. And just for reference, uh, Mac NC45. I haven't worn that in years, but that's like my general color. Has more of a neutral kind of undertone to it. I might be Sunkissed, a good shape match for me. Toffee is a little bit, I don't know. Right now, yeah, I think that might work better. Y'all look at my, look at my edges. That retwisting technique is crazy. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a premiere, so. I hope you guys are doing well and I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Cause you know, my makeup videos or get ready with me tend to be a little bit longer. And I like to do premieres for longer videos. So this is a buffer brush from Royal and Lang Nickel and I'm gonna blend it out. Foundation looks a lot lighter than what my forehead is looking like, but I can fix that with contouring. I have some other foundation from Benefit. I think they sent me some foundation sticks that I'll test out and show you guys in a different video. Don't worry, I know it's lighter than my forehead right now, but it'll come together. I forgot to put this on top of my eyeshadow. This is a Koki Cosmetics Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow. Looks like that. I'm just kind of putting it in the center and I'm going to blend it out a little bit or tap it out with that flat brush. This video is going to be long. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place 16 and 13. I'm going to use 16 towards the inner part. and 13 towards the outer part. So I'm using the Real Techniques um, setting brush and I'm blending out my concealer. I'm gonna set my under eye. Set 
did that with the Cody Airspun powder. Wet n Wild Contour Stick and Where's Walnut. I'm gonna put that all around the perimeter of my face. And my cheekbones. I'm gonna blend that out. My Angle Blender Brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. And before I do my blush, I'm gonna set my, the rest of my face with the Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder in Golden Almond Finish. I use this with, on my pardon's face with my wigs and stuff, but I also set my face with it. All right, and for blush, I'm gonna use these two shades here. And I'm gonna use this brush that I have from, it's a blush brush from Moda. It has a unicorn thing to it, super cute. J Cat Beauty um, You Glow Girl Baked, Highli Baked Highlighter in Twilight. Looks like this. And where's my brush? I'm gonna use this Morphe M504 brush. Looks like that. And I'm gonna put that on the tip of my nose. in between my eyes and on my cupid's bow. I think I've already used this on my channel, but I'm gonna probably use Better Nude and Chill from Jules Cosmetics. I'm gonna start off with Better Nude though, cause it's a darker shade. Alright guys, so here's the final look of what I put together for this Get Ready With Me video. So I'm about to go film some other content. Um, that's what my Get Ready With Me videos have been like for the last couple months because, you know, if I'm going anywhere, it's just the grocery store for the most part or visiting my parents or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to my premiere squad for tuning in. And if you are catching the replay, thank you so much for tuning in as well. Let me know what other kinds of looks you would like to see in the future. I'm gonna try to incorporate more makeup on my channel. As you guys can see, I have been doing that over the last couple of months. I'm definitely incorporating more makeup on my channel. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time that I do another upload and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.